Drive Phil presents himself as a crusader for recovery who rescues people from their addictions. But his show has put at risk the health of some of those guests it purports to help, a status that Boston Globe investigation has found. HTTPS T.co slash J7 and ILD4 ISLK. Matt Vicanto, at MV ISA, December 28, 2017. Television presenter Philip McGraw, best known as Drive Phil, is accused of giving drug and alcohol to addicts before their appearance on his show. The 67 year old psychologist, who has built his reputation around helping people overcome addiction, allegedly set up former Survivor winner Todd Herzog when he appeared on the show in 2013, according to a joint stat slash Boston Globe investigation. I have never talked to a guest who was closer to death, McGraw said when the cameras started rolling, showing Herzog being carried and propped upright in his chair on the show's stage. Now, 32-year-old Herzog has told Stat he was not drunk when he arrived at the Los Angeles studio, he said when he found a bottle of vodka left in his dressing room, he drank that before being given a Xanax by a producer who said it would calm his nerves. Further investigation by Stat slash Boston Globe found guests to the show were often left in hotel rooms without medical help for up to 48 hours before screening, suffering extreme withdrawal symptoms. Two people allege addicts were directed by the show's staff where to find area or other illicit drugs during this withdrawal process and a pregnant woman was reportedly filmed by the production crew as she searched for a dealer on the streets. Drive Jeff Sugar, assistant professor of clinical psychiatry at the University of Southern California, called it a callous and inexcusable exploitation. While McGraw himself has not responded publicly to the allegations, a psychologist who works on the show Martin Greenberg said the claims are absolutely, unequivocally untrue. This is not the first time McGraw, who has a doctorate in psychology but has not been licensed to practice since 2006, has been the center of controversy. He has been accused of exploiting his subjects before, but everyone who's tried to sue him has been unsuccessful. And, last year, a former segment director took him to court for false imprisonment, accusing McGraw of locking staff members in a room and threatening them because of leaks to the media. That case was settled out of court and now McGraw is suing his accuser in federal court. As for Herzog, who is now sober, he said he's just thankful he survived it. You know, I get that it's a television show and that they want to show the pain that I am in, Herzog told Stat. However, what would have happened if I died there? You know, that's horrifying. To read the full Stat slash Boston Globe report, click here. A young boy has been beaten and locked in a car in northern New South Wales, according to police who have arrested a man and a woman over the